Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this figure showcase we're going to be having a look at the 1985 Autobot car Inferno. What we're going to do on this video, we're going to have a look at the toy in both of his modes. We're going to discuss all the um, accessories that came with him because he came with an abundance, so much so he couldn't have them all on his one person at one time. So you need to be aware of them if you're looking to get one complete. The same we're going to look at the condition of the figure and what to be aware of if you want to get one yourself and how to display it. I'm also fortunate enough to have two different types of packaging so we're going to have a look at both of them as well. Right then let's look at the figure itself then so there he is there's Inferno in his robot mode and I think that's a fantastic alternate mode he's nice and tall a bit taller than the other Autobot cars and that's obviously due to the fact that his alternate mode is much much longer. So let's have a look at him. You can see already he's got a lovely chrome grille on the front, which obviously is the front of the fire engine, but it's right apparent on his stomach, so torso when he's in robot mode. So if you're looking to buy one and display it yourself, the chrome is really important. There's lots of chrome on this figure, and I'll just go through some of the bits with you now. So obviously you've got the bit there straight around his stomach. You've got the shoulder pieces on the side. You've got his actual weapons as well, which we're going to come to. You've got the top of the ladder, which is also chrome. So these are things that if you are looking to buy one to display in robot mode, it obviously will be very important to you. The other thing as well is not just the chrome, it's the white on it. Unfortunately, these figures do have a bit of sun fading and then the white tends to go a little bit yellow, which is the hose on the side there. And unfortunately, like a little bit on this one, the ladder there. Now, the reason I've got this ladder fully extended is A, I've only got my hands on a phone, so I wouldn't be able to do it anyway, but B, mainly to show you that that's how big the ladder should be and you can see it telescopes out in three different sections so if you're looking to display it as i say and you want it to be complete you need to have all of the three sections of the ladder there that's why i've got that folded out i did also mention the weapons and the accessories and he comes with three missiles two hoses two fists obviously and a gun and he can only carry up to as I say, the three of them in his fist, so he can't carry all the missiles. You can either have both fists, you can have both missiles, whatever suits you. And of course, his hose nozzles go in the top there. Another couple of things just quickly to be aware of is the fact that they are rubber tyres and they can sometimes split and damage as well. His arms, when he's in the truck mode there, they do connect to two little tabs which are there, either side of his head. So if they're missing there, and you want to display him in his truck mode, they will just drop down to the sides. So that's something, as I say, to be aware of. I think again, though, as I've just said, when he's in robot mode, he does display really well. And to be fair, he does in fire engine as well. It just depends which way you want to display him. Right, let's have a look at some of the packaging then. As I say, I'm lucky enough to have the original box and this battle scene on the back is the Dinobots with jet fire and shockwave. Unfortunately, got a bit of a tear there. But that's the battle scene on there. This is the later 1990 re-released classic box. This guy is mint and sealed box. And as I say, you've got the nice, this is in English, you've got the classic Inferno and the classic heroes. They do come in other languages, Spanish and Italian. And if we spin around, not a very exciting battle scene on the back there, but it was the time obviously of the MicroMasters and that's the little battle scene that you've got there. So, as I say, a nice figure, one of the original Autobot cars, well, second wave of the Autobot cars in 1985. He does display very, very well. His alternate mode is also fantastic, but be aware he does have so many accessories that come with him. I hope you like looking at it, and it brought back some new memories, and I was, help and I was able to help you find one yourself. Thanks very much.